Hi, great that you're back. Um, today I'd like to yeah, give you a little tip if you have any problems, if you try to um, do your training with the Eli Twobo Digital Smart B Plus and your Phoenix 5. I had the problem that uh, it got connected very easily. That was not the problem, but the problem was the speed. I mean, when I was cycling on my indoor trainer, I had a speed of like 300, 400 miles per hour. Whoa, no, never ever, you know. So it took me a while to figure out what the problem was. The problem was I had to adjust the wheel size in the um, for my Quobo manually in the watch and I like to show you how you do it. You have to push this one here until you get in the settings menu and then you go down here to settings and then you push this one and here you choose your sensors. So you'll be choosing the sensors. If you have not added it yet, you can go to add a new sensor. Mine is already in here, so I go to the sensors. And this is my Equobo. And uh, to select it, I just push the top button. And here you go down to wheel size. And the wheel size has to be 47 millimeters. Um, I'm not sure if it is in the uh, in the US system the same, uh, but with 47 millimeters, the speed is absolutely correct. And um, your Quobo will work 100% correctly with your Phoenix 5. So if you have the problem that the speed is way too high on your Phoenix 5, simply uh, adjust the wheel size on your Quobo sensor in the settings menu and then it'll work perfectly. So, hope I could help you a little bit. Thanks for watching and I see you next time. Bye-bye.